I grew up moving around, literally. Um, I was born on the 25th of June in Sudan, Khartoum. I lived in Kenya, Uganda, Sudan. Then I immigrated to Canada, I lived in Ontario, and then went to Canada. Plus me as a rapper, because growing up I was exposed to a lot of things that the average child doesn't see, and you know, having to adapt to different environments all the time. Um, it was hard, but I express it through my music. My music is who I am, so. Not Rima Major, the rapper. I don't like to refer to as the rapper or Rima Major, the artist. I'm Rima Major, the corporation. Um, I have a lot of things going on which I can't speak about. But what I can say is, I have a clothing line, Electric Glam, which I'm hoping to launch fall of 210. And yeah, I have a lot more things going on than just rapping. So I'm not the rapper. I'm the corporation. I have a Gucci bag fetish. I love Gucci bags. I have. So many Gucci bags, and just came to the studio and I heard the beat. And it was just it just felt natural, and then the song just happened. Gucci bag. Recording an album in Arabic. Yes, I can see myself doing that, but not right now. Later on in my career, I still see myself catering to the Arabic audience right now, but not in terms of full full Arabic album. But yeah, I could see myself doing that. Okay. I usually, you know, get played beats, look through beats. See whatever is poppy, whatever gets to me, and just write to it. I never leave the studio though without cutting at least three to four records. Guajo cool. Cinco. He's from the group Ghetto Concept. Um, Ghetto Concept are the pioneers in establishment of Canadian hip hop. Um, they're one of the reasons why the Canadian industry is where it is today. So people like Julie Black, um, Socrates, Cardi. All those people have influence on the Canadian industry, and they're the reason why people like Drake have a way to do what they're doing right now. So that's who it is. No pressure at all. Um, my main focus is to stay true to who I am. You know, I'm a girl. You know, I want to look good, and I'm sure every other female out there wants to look good. But I won't be compromising myself now or in the future to appeal to a certain audience or the media. So I'm, I will. Um, I can't speak for artists like. Foxy, Lil' Kim, or Nicki Minaj. But as for me, I'm still growing and learning, not only as an artist, but as an individual. And I just hope my fans can grow and learn with me. And the best advice I can give to girls who look up to me is, you know, be yourself, don't try to fit in, go hard towards your goals, and stay focused. I personally think that the hip-hop industry and media paints a picture about, like, you know, a female rapper being this or that. And, you know, it seems like every magazine cover or video caters to the male audience by glorifying the female body rather than her mind. And of course, little girls see this, they want to adapt to it because they want the attention from their peers. But I think it's just important to understand, it's okay to want to be sexy, I'm not saying that it's wrong, but just be aware of your surroundings and especially your age at the time. Like, that's really important. You can't be 10 wanting to be like the girl in the video. It is a video. You know, I'm still developing as an artist, I'm still setting my goals. And I don't like to say, where am I going to be in five years? Because I feel that puts a strain on me. Um, I'm working towards my goals, and of course I hope to achieve them, make a dent in the industry, and impact it. But in five years, I should be super duper successful, but I don't want to get specific. But... Just stop. I'm never going to stop. Point, blank, period. And I don't care, so say whatever you want. I'm going to get rich now. That's one thing I would say. I keep it girly. I'm not tomboy. I found tomboy. You know, I love tattoos, and piercing, and I'm strange. But I love it. Yeah, versatile. Um, coming from all these countries that I have, I've been exposed to different music too. Like I appreciate Kenyan music and Arabic music, and you know, I'm from Kansas City too, so I appreciate the Bay. I appreciate Toronto artists. I'm very versatile with my sound and everything. Hey, it's the illest kid, Rima Major, the young buck that the OGs co-signed. Shout out to Avon Inc. Magazine. Look out for me in issue number two. Couture, 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 couture.